Oh my goodness, what is it that we have just seen? One run required to win of six balls, but what everyone's focused on, will Joss Butler be able to hit a six and get what would be a well-deserved hundred? And guess what? It's exactly what happened. Yes, six hundred. And what a day to do it. When <laughs> Virat Kohli gets his 800, first of IPL 2024, we didn't have a IPL 100 for 19 games. And now we have two in the two. same game. Two on the same night. Yes. So what that means is, Joss Butler's 58 ball, 58 ball 100. And a strike rate of 172. 172 combined with Sanju Samson's 69 of 42 at a strike rate of 164 has ensured Rajasthan Royals make it four out of four. Imperious two, Royal. Two games while batting first. How many balls for uh, 58? 58. Okay. 100 runs of 58 balls. And Virat Kohli, the second slowest, joint second slowest 100. The joint slowest, not second slowest. Joint, joint slowest. slowest. 67 balls that he shares with a former RCB teammate called Manish Pandey, and that was 15 years ago. 2009. Hmm. Generations may change, yugs will change, names will change, but RCB clinging on to straws. Now, today the fans will not worry about it. Why? Oh, our Virat Kohli has gotten a century. Hmm. But this is going to be our major talking point today. I've been having uh, debates with RCB fans saying, see, don't consider the bowling, don't consider the conditions. A century is a century. Okay? This comes, if you look at it, a good knock should be appreciated. Mm. See, it's a hundred. It's a good knock. Forget the bowling, forget the condition, take into account the conditions and everything. Can, can I just stop you there by a pertinent point that you're raising and of course that we'll spend time talking about. Let's just first for our viewers joining us right now break down the game or at least summarize things for them. Okay. And then of course we'll take it in the in the direction See, that we feel like right. taking so, it. Two ball duck for Yashasvi Jaiswal at the very start of the innings and that really it's like the law of average is catching up with them. Until March 21, he was on top of the world for everything. Mm. And because of that, 0 of 2. And then you had the partnership of 148 with Sanju Samson and Joss Butler. And because of that, man oh man, RCB were never in the hunt. Of course, a couple of wickets fell with Riyan Parag and Dhruv Jurel. Dhruv Jurel strangled down the legs and he'll be kicking himself. Parag is playing a very weird kind of a shot and giving it to Virat Kohli there. Right at short mid wicket for that shot. Shimron Hetmeyer with a couple of boundaries takes the game away. And Butler, last, I mean, if you say one run, hits a six and gets to a 600. But, but you know, we, back into form. were you guys also taken back to the year 2022 because a game being finished off by Josh Butler with a six? Uh, does that remind you of something? Because to me, those are exactly the visuals playing out in my head when that boundary was hit off the last ball. The yeah. ICC T20 World Cup semi-final. Was there any uh, reminder over there or shade shades of that? You that know, some of the shots he was playing today, especially that one particular shot which Butler down, down the ground, down, down, down the ground, where he, it's his go-to shot for spinners. That was, I think, hit to Mohammad Siraj, and it looked like a tennis ball shot. The kind no, that, of... I think that was Daya. You're talking about this shot? No, 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 no. Hmm. Uh, I'm talking about the one that was hit down the ground. I think it was... No, Siraj... Uh, no, I'm just saying it wasn't... It was Yash si Daya. It, it... A left armor. It was Yash Daya. I think he did that cross... So, Siraj was hit by... Again, and that probably be my second favourite shot of the day because uh, Siraj was hit. Again, he put the ball on the offside. Let's say a little bit of a loosener, let's say. But uh, the way that Sanju Samson... You know, the one that he played right over the man at third man had to jump to get to the ball. I think that was also one of the shots. But again, Josh Butler getting his form back with a hundred. Yes, Ashwi Jaiswal yet together again. We were at the halfway stage as well saying that this again could be the kind of pitch that both of them would be wanting to get their form back on. One does it. Not the other, but what it still ensures is that the winning streak uh, remains for the Rajasthan Royals. They won four on the trot now. That so, takes them to the top no, of the table. Only Rajasthan Royals and Kolkata Knight Riders of the teams will not taste a defeat in IPL 2024. So far, and just go down a bit, uh, Pawan, I want to see. So, I have been saying that there is Opal and Hare for the Delhi Capitals batting. Opal and Hare when it came to the bowling. 
O Palan, we stop Lee 2 for 27. Okay, answer said as O. Palan, Yash Dayal, 1 for 37, got tonged. Hare, 1 for 35. Nirgun, if you want to count in that. But look at Mayam Dagar. Look at Himanshu Sharma. He was the impact Impact sub. sub. Combined four overs, you have given away 63 runs. That's where you lost the game. And Cameron Green, 3.127. And... Was a, did a Maxwell bowl today? He did. Because they used his two overs and gave it to Himanshu Sharma, who did not look like he should be bowling at this level, despite being a wrist spinner, mind you. Lost and control, short, or full. So, yeah, and actually, if you look at it, you know, the one over which really changed the game and really released a lot of pressure came from Mayang Dagar. The last yeah. over of the power play, where they took 20 runs off him, that I think was the over that really kicked the match into gear for the Royals. Because again, Prior to that, they lost Yashasvi in the first over. They were getting the odd boundary and maybe a couple of singles. They weren't looking to be too aggressive, knowing, I think, that this wasn't a pitch that had any particular demons in it. You could accelerate if you had enough wickets in hand. But that dagger over really changed things because after that, I don't think they really looked Because back. they were going at close to 6.9 per over until over number 5. Then that 20 run over, they were well within the net, uh, the required rate also. And because of that, RCB could never ever fight and this is where your lack of a fourth fifth bowler is going to sink them in but IPL more than more than the bowling did we not call it here hmm. just about two hours back we said it all three of us said in uh, uh, you, you know it was a unanimous opinion all of us said that this total is not good enough yep. and boy were we not right about it see you needed a 200 Hmm. You need a total at excess of least. There were at yeah. least 20 runs short. Shane, I remember, in fact, said that he had no qualms in saying that this is definitely a low total. Because I said there's nothing in the pitch. Yes. There was nothing whatsoever in the pitch. And I think I dare say it obviously would have eased out a bit under lights and with the dew, which by the way was significant. The yes. camera was showing yeah. shots of the grass and it was dewy. Yeah. I'm not saying that's an excuse. I'm just saying. As professional sports teams, you know yeah. that it's going to be coming. You needed a bare minimum of 200. 200 was the bare minimum you needed. And I knew that with this sort of a bowling attack, you're not defending 180 unless someone has an extraordinary day. And I know a lot of people say, oh, but you know, it went to the 19th over. Don't fool yourself. No. One, Shimron Hetmeyer was playing well within himself to ensure that Butler had some sort of a chance to get to that 100. One. Two, they also lost a couple of wickets towards the latter parts. Yeah. Otherwise, you don't think that Ryan Parag or Drew Gerald would have finished and, it off. And once the required rate came down to 6 and over, it was run a ball around, I think, the 50th over, uh, 15th over yeah. mark. Uh, and, and there weren't any higher shots that you saw. It was all well in control. There was still about 8 wickets in hand. And uh, very calculated hitting. Only the loose balls were punished. No risk required. It was comfortable batting out there and this takes me to a question or a talking point which I feel uh, we should spend some time talking about is whether RCB got it wrong in terms of what the projected total or a, a match winning total let's say should have been over here because we heard from Virat Kohli at the halfway mark where he said that the idea was not to go hammer and tongs from ball okay, one. So, okay. so did RCB or over there in terms of what they thought would be a good enough total. We can check it on the screen. We can check it on the screen. Yeah, I will just, it just show us that uh, comment there. We'll go to the full, this thing. Go to, uh, full. Yeah, go scroll to full. Yeah, scroll up. Full comment. Scroll up, scroll up. Yeah. Of full. whatever little that I recall because I was reading those comments. That. Yes. Because this is the starting point of full our comment. major. The full yeah. Commentary. Next to highlights. He, he, he said that. Uh, full commentary. Full commentary, Bhavan. Scroll. Yeah. Next to highlights. Yeah. Go there. Go, uh, uh, yeah, ah, there. there. Yeah. 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 Okay, RCB links. Click on RCB links. That right here. Yeah, click on that. Okay, go down. Up. There it is. Yeah. So Virat Kohli. Okay, this these are his exact comments that he said in the mid innings show that happened. The wicket looks quite different from the outside. I feel like it's flat, but the ball is holding up in the pitch. That's when you realize the pace changes. One of us, Virat or Faf. I mean, he just mentioned in that sense it's for summation. Had to bat till the end. I feel this total is effective on this pitch. Well, it wasn't. No. I am not coming in with any premeditation. I knew I couldn't get over aggressive. Just that I had to keep the bowlers guessing. <sighs> it's just experience and maturity of playing the conditions. Even if there's due, the surface is rough and dry. Won't be easy for the batters. I couldn't get under the ball against Ashwin. 
could it slog towards mid wicket so i had to target straight down the see ground. there's two things he was totally wrong about one is feeling this total is effective on the pitch yeah. it wasn't we could tell instantly that it was never going to be a b even if there's dew the surface is rough and dry it won't be easy for the batters the dew uh, let's assume let's assume for one second that what he's saying was right mm. in the sense that it was slightly sticky yeah. in the first innings then again the dew did exactly what it was supposed to do it eased out the pitch which just didn't so happen so that is why rr chose to bowl yes they knew the conditions and they told rcb okay try and master it if you can and clearly if you look at it defending no, a total then, and then setting up a total rcb just it, have to struggle because see they set up a total against chennai super kings couldn't defend it they only chased successfully against punjab kings but that too it went to the last over also yeah. it was a very underwhelming target 170 odd yeah, yeah. But then uh, the other game that you had, KKR, KKR, KKR absolutely beaten black and blue. Here against Rajasthan Royals, beaten black and blue. Don't tell me that 19 goals. So that that's no way of saying that yeah. just because you saw, let's say, the 40th over of the game also being bowled, that means yeah. that the contest was closed. It Sorry, that's and not the way. LSG, they LSG? were totally undone. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. their batting collapsed, they couldn't chase. Now I have a major problem with the sentence that he's made. I knew I couldn't get over aggressive. Just that I had to keep the bowlers guessing. Now I couldn't get over aggressive means he has no faith in the rest of the batting lineup. Correct. Yes. That's what yes. number one. Number one. Number two. Look at the strike rate today of one hundred and fifty-six that Virat Kohli is having as a. Please let me shout it out loud. What is he in the RCB team? Opener. Opener. Is Virat Kohli going to open in the Indian cricket team when no. he's playing in the T20 World Cup? No. One hundred and thirteen. See, RCB they will say, "Oh, but it's justified." Look at Duplessy. Look at Maxwell. Look at Chaurav Chauhan. Look at Green. But boss, these are the guys that you picked. Yeah. Where is the decision making then? As usual, RCB go on whims, and they just cannot take the right decisions at this point in time. So that gives a legitimate excuse for Kohli that oh I don't trust my batting, so I'll play in this template. Today look at Butler, 172. Did he ease off in the tempo? He eased off a little bit towards the end, end. but wow, that was when back-to-back -back wickets had fallen. Uh, From Ryan 75 to 165. Exactly, and he was then made up for it. Thanks with that last set, yeah. yeah. End yeah. to the cycle of 172. Opener of 172.4. Compared to an opener with 156, I am sorry. Once again, once again, it only proves my point. Virat Kohli, when batting first, he can't set the template. He's playing an outdated 15 to 12 year version of T20 cricket. I like it by the fact the slowest joint, slowest century in IPL history. Yeah. Manish Pandey. Manish Pandey happened in 2009. Virat Kohli today is having 15 years later 67. Are you kidding me? In 2024, T20s. I'm sorry. It may be harsh. Yes, excellent knock. Eighth century, fabulous. Ninth century overall, staggering. 7,500 runs, staggering. But all that comes with a major Titanic like anchor. Your team has not done anything. It's funny you mentioned Titanic because there was no anchor because the team sunk. The so team is sinking. Look at their position now: five matches, four losses, hmm. and that one win came because something freakish happened with DK and Mahipal Lobro, and hmm. of course, very bad bowling from Arshdeep. Mm -hmm. That is why a 156 strike rate versus a 172 strike rate at this point. Virat Kohli, you are looking at the numbers as an opener in IPL, but he's not going to be an opener in the T20 World Cup unless the Indian cricket team wants to come in even more hard. But then the argument then becomes, Adar, you look at his numbers today. You look at his numbers in the power play. I think underwhelming. I would say 128. But again. Today, so today was an antithesis of Virat Kohli of an of a Virat Kohli innings. Let's say because. Previously, we've said, and he's been, let's say, guilty of you know being slow in the middle overs at times. Today, though, uh, the point being that Virat started being the aggressor after the power play got over. Mm -hmm. He had a much better strike rate. So those, let's say, the proponents of Virat Kohli, they will feel that 
okay after the power play got over virat kohli was taking his risks today virat kohli did uh, end up becoming the aggressor he did take the team to a total which uh, ended up being something to play with at least on this wicket something to play but then look at how on a canter they did it yeah I'm sorry. You are game my, lost in the my, my only uh, problem over there being, I think this is not to do with Virat Kohli as much. But maybe I think overall as far as the team management is concerned. Uh, the fact that again when Virat Kohli says that I didn't have to be over aggressive. If this was the right balance of aggression then again they got it wrong with the total that they had in mind. So maybe the need w was indeed for him to be uh, or, and the team at large to be batting at a more aggressive rate and pushing the score beyond 200. See, let's not deny the fact that even with uh, the way Kohli is playing, I would have taken it if you had other battles in form. But right now, the spotlight is forming very, very hard on uh, him due to the very simple reason that, listen, no one else is in form. What is the one thing we've complained about for years as far as IPL, I remember when it comes to RCB, that they never have had a rounded team. It's never been rounded. It's always been very individual based and that hasn't changed. The individuals have changed, but the individual based approach remains the same. And what happens then when one or two of those individuals aren't in form like you're saying now? Faf is in bad form. Less said about Glenn Maxwell, the better. You do have other players. I mean, yes, you could bring in a Will Jacks from the bench. Perfectly good option would give you some off spin. He's, you know, been striking 40 ball hundreds in the SA20. Wouldn't say, I'd say there's far better options there. But does it really help you this year? It doesn't. You've already, you're five games in. And mind you, a lot of those games you haven't played at home. Where you don't ever have home advantage. So, you've not played a majority of your home games. You have what? If you need eight wins. Mm. That means of their next nine games, nine games mm. they need seven, seven matches. Seven, yeah. With this team, forget about it. They'll be lucky to win three. Yeah. And that's the point. Their playoff hopes are all but done and dusted. It's just over. It, and I hate saying it that this early in the season it's done. But really, it is done. You can't be losing. You're not MI. MI have a history of coming back and proving stronger in the second half. But even then, you look at those teams and be like, you know, there is a team there. It's just not clicking yet. With this lot, I don't see a need for them clicking because even if a Faf and Maxwell suddenly find form, hmm. plus there's no way they're going. They'll win a few matches, but they're not winning enough matches to make it to the playoffs. In fact, at this rate, I think it's going to be a competition between them and Punjab Kings for who are going to be wooden spooners. Maybe you can add a DC and if MI don't win the next game tomorrow, hmm. that's also there. But let's see, hmm. my major problem with Virat, I've been saying it for a very long time now, okay? As a chase master, no questions. Hmm. He's the greatest. Hmm. He knows the template. He knows how to go about it. Okay. But look at each and every facet of India's losses in T20 World Cups. So since it's a T20 World Cup here, batting first has been your ultimate Achilles heel. Hmm. You can argue in 2014 that Virat didn't get support from the rest. Hmm. Okay. That's why he was playing a lone hand on 74. Yuvraj struggled. He choked. So that's why. Sri Lanka's inspired bowling and should never got to more than 140. 2016, Six. he was playing a lone hand. Rahane Rohit didn't step up. Okay. But there your bowling choked. You couldn't defend 189. 193 rather. You couldn't defend that. 21 was a colossal failure across the board. 2022, Virat and Surya's knocks 50 of 40 and Sky's knock and also Rohit 27 of 28. Boss, batting first, you have a huge issue. And Virat, look at it. What? Why you have given this a real careful in the Indian cricket team? That's why I'm not a fan of both Rohit and Virat coming back. You all will argue that, oh, you need Rohit and Virat to no, win an don't ICC need, event. No. But boss, with the same core, you haven't won for 10 years. You haven't won in 14 with the same core. You haven't won in 16 with the same core. 15, you didn't win the same core. 17, 17 you didn't win with the same 19. core. 19, 21, 23, 22, 23 again. You didn't win with the same core. Why on earth do you need those two core of guys? I'm sorry. The moment you decided to add Virat and Kohli, Virat and Rohit back into the T20 setup for India, you have committed the ultimate harakiri. And you know what it does? It's because of this. Because of this. It exactly. sacrifices short term, let's say, pain for long term gain. That was the thought process we had. Like, listen, I don't think I would understand bringing back veteran players 
if I felt it gave you a genuine chance of winning that one last shot, yeah. one final dance, I don't think that's going to happen. And honestly, what young team or what future you were building towards, you've sacrificed that for a short term gain that I don't mm. think can ever pay for my it. Problem, desperate. My problem being that the fact that you know you showed a certain vision, you showed a certain dream, you projected a future for uh, the next generation so to say and all of that has gone down to the dumps now. That's my problem and how are you then going to nurture the next generation then if you're not going to be giving them the exposure and I agree and this is something we've said on this platform quite a lot of times that the addition of the two of them doesn't really increase India's chances manifold. Mm -hmm. India's chances remain the same and what is wrong? What is wrong with you trying something? You may not have won the youngsters, let's say, a Shumban Gil, Yashashwi Jaiswal, right up top, or maybe Ishan Kishan, as was the case a few months back. Whatever it is, just a full young look Indian team going into the World Cup would not have really enhanced your chances. But what it would have done is it would have been a it would have been a deviation from what you've been doing for nearly the last nine years. Okay. You've played around the, around the same core for quite some time. Now, it's not worked out. What do you do then? You switch to plan B. And this plan B, it's, it may be plan B at the moment because you're making it look like that. But this was to be your plan A till that Afghanistan series happened. It's now that you're going back and making it look like this was always the plan A. But no. It you're, wasn't. Exactly. You exactly. See, today... Every Virat Kohli fan will be blinded. I'll tell you why. Because, oh, King Kohli got 100. 113. And that two of a strike rate of 156. Oh, he's done much better than his overall career strike rate. Career strike rate in T20Is for Virat Kohli is 138. He's done 18 better. In T20s, it's even worse. It's 133. In IPL, I think the career strike rate is 130. 30. But man, today he did 26 more. Now, everybody out there will say, oh, this is another agenda, oh, this is another... No, it's not about agenda. No, I am again pointing it out. Look at the context of the match. Virat Kohli, 83 or 59, didn't we pan him for the way how he played against Kolkata Knight Riders? No, the and other day, so. the other day though, no, the, and, and that's where I think I disagree. Uh, I think the other day in Bengaluru, the pitch was genuinely sluggish. So, I was okay with that Virat Kohli knock the other day in Bengaluru. Today though... Today, it looks like a much better knock in comparison, but what it does in fact, is, and, 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 and it is truth be told, it's a good knock, but it isn't a match winning knock. What a Joss Butler has showed you is mm. that this is not good enough if you're starting at the top. You need to aggress a bit more. And that's what pales, I think, what, what, what pales this Virat Kuri knock is because we've got a comparison in another opener in Joss Butler. His innings of 67 ball 100 vis a vis of 58 ball, ball 100. So that's a difference of uh, 9 balls over there. Nine balls. That's a lot. A 9 balls. And over and a half. Break. Imagine the Pakistan India game was made to make or break in 8 balls, 28 ball, 28 uh, balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 9 balls is a massive gap. And put it this way if let's suppose you switch around the run rate or go by the run rate they were going at. 19.1 overs there at 189. Ten. That means uh, they were easily getting to over 200. Yeah. Comfortably. And, and don't get us wrong. In your, and we'll come to the comments. We see so many of those comments are flooding in right now. We'll try taking a couple of those in fact before we move on to the next. So let's, take, uh, let's get our discussions. Yeah. So, but, but, but you know, don't get us wrong in the sense that, you know, uh, we, 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 we've got something against Virat. No, none of us have done anything in life, let's say, to have anything against Virat Kohli. The achievements mm. that he's uh, that he's had as a cricketer are unparalleled. He's on an untouchable level. But today is an eye-opener of sorts that, okay, this is an, a knock that we appreciate. It's still a good knock. But it pales in comparison because this is what you need. Yeah. This is It remains a good knock. And if RCB are okay with it, as we've seen and as we've said also time and time again, that if RCB are okay with it, like today they said, that we didn't want to be over-aggressive and they're fine around it. They are fine with Virat playing the way that he has to. It could be whatever, it could be modeled around Virat Kohli or you could then give it another spin and say that Virat has to play that way because the others aren't in form. But this is the way that... Because this is where then, look at where RCB are in IPL. Hmm. If it is modeled around Virat Kohli, then I'm sorry, that formula hasn't worked for you. Okay, we didn't want to be too over-aggressive. Okay, that is what Virat Kohli stated. 
boss if that was the attitude then an alex hales and a josh butler would have not chased the target of 168 in the t20 world cup you said oh no no you wanted to be very uh, let's take it deep let's take it deep you want to be want to preserve our wickets they wouldn't have chased it down 16 overs without losing a wicket the era is now fearless cricket that is what new zealand australia england do england have been doing it for 6 years now fearless they don't care about individual milestones here if you look at it india is weighed down by the burden of failure and the, by the fear of failure you freeze and certain individuals if you have to look at it they are part of the problem but unfortunately we will not recognize that problem because the fan bases around all those players are blind you don't need a virat and a rohit for your t20 world cup success because if you had removed those two a yashasvi a rinku and a shubman go guaranteed were guaranteed they are your new age match winners yaar that is the thing and what's wrong my question is what's wrong in trying something new after a string of failures if a string of failures isn't going to nudge you enough to try something new then nothing i don't know is. what will nothing is then nothing is that's a sad fact if your first or your default uh, setting is to revert to type then it shows you've learned nothing from the previous failures and you are perfectly okay going down that route again and again despite whatever because then your focus isn't really to end the drought then it's to ensure that you know your fans are kept happy the fan bases are kept happy and how do you keep the fan bases happy oh you give them star players yeah. who cares if they won anything or not they're star players and that is part of the problem if you don't care or if you feel that winning or losing is irrelevant in a sport then the whole point of the sport is defeated it's then why is it that other you know uh, teams care so much about why it is or how it is that they're going to win a world cup and i'm sorry in a sport like cricket which eight teams are competitive if with the kind of resources you do you're not being there if your default answer is what is it we keep talking about when we're watching ipl oh the talent pool is so deep but where do you play them you can't play them because you're still stuck with the same old players you're not willing to refresh things you or if you are then you'll try out 20 players in one year and give none of them a long term chance so it is very unfortunate see it is like that uh, dialogue that has come in uh, this particular film uh, what was that akshay kumar film i don't remember it was on the, on corruption okay khatta meeta okay mm. ipl is like ipl and talent pool is like this आठ फीट के पाइप के जगह दो फीट का पाइप लगा कर दैट इज हाउ द टैलेंट इज योर सच अज पाइप बट यू इंसर्टेड जस्ट अ टू सेंटीमीटर पाइप सो दैट टैलेंट जस्ट डजन ट्रिकल थ्रू इट हार्डली कम्स थ्रू यू गॉट एक्सेस वॉटर बट समवेयर डाउन लाइन इट्स बीन पिंचड एंड यू कॉन्ट गेट दैट थ्रू एंड दैट इज वाई वाई इज इंडिया नॉट लर्निंग एंड वाई विल आर सी बी नेवर लर्न बिकॉज यू रिवर्टेड बैक टू विराट कोहली एंड रोहित शर्मा इन जनवरी with just four months to go and before one series and that too you are all going gaga or what they did against afghanistan mm. are you serious about it are you serious okay you skipped the t20 matches against australia and uh, south africa oh no no we need to rest we have all had a traumatic world cup you pick and choose according to convenience workload management workload management is just a convenient garb rest pick and choose in the indian context workload management is called pick and choose it's not workload management unfortunately what has happened now here is virat kohli century will be the headline but it hides a lot but it doesn't it won't be now because again if you have a player on the opposing team who's not only got in a century also won the team the match with and balls to spare huh, and also been named the man of the match yes. because Josh Butler has been named the man of the match not Virat Kohli if you go by the individual score logic then Kohli should be man of the match is what 113 correct me if i'm wrong mm, yeah. 113 but Butler Joiners. got to Butler got to exactly 100 yeah, yeah. but what is the difference here impact you match winning one is team the match yep. and that is what matters we will get some comments on the Virat thing we'll take that but now the second point Worrying signs, for alarm bells now for a certain Yashashvi yes, Jaiswal. Because today the kind of shot that he played, I'll go back into the Mumbai game. He tried to hit the ball too hard. He fell for a low score. Here he was undone by uh, some late tennis ball bounce, and also he just tapped at yeah, it. Yeah, it was the wrong shot. Wrong shot. Out for a silver duck. Yeah. Now we had discussed a couple of shows back that maybe. 
the management might be willing to keep Jaiswal on the sidelines and start with the Shubman Gill. Correct. Shubman Gill, on the other hand, has scored runs. Although his team is having a mixed kind of a fortune. Oh, but see, he's, he's getting good runs. And the, oh, good runs, at least decent runs. Leave aside that, I think you had 100? No, you're close to 100. 80. Yeah. Huh. 89. Leave aside uh-huh. that, even the runs he'd been getting prior were starts, 30 or. Yeah. But also look at the strike rate. He's striking it at over 150. Now the problem with Jaiswal is he's neither getting you runs. So then strike rate will barely matter. He's yeah. not getting you runs. He's getting ducks or ones or twos. In that sense, when you know your captain is an opener anyway, are you going to then have the gumption to stick with the Jaiswal? I mean, if I, it was me, personally, I would stick with Jaiswal. Because I think... Very harsh to judge him on that regard, but also you be team management. Team management will go by the recency bias. Also, again, when are we going to then stick to our decisions? The decision to let go of Shubman Gill was made just a couple of months back, prior to uh, January, 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 that and that T20 was I. the last T20 series. You had stuck with the Shubman Gill all this while, but you took that hard call. You could have chosen to not take it if you were going to be, uh, you know, so easily convinced about it. If you needed half a reason to get back to Shuman Gill, then you may not have made the decision in the first place. Mm. Now you did. You took a hard call and I understand it must have been a hard call. You knew this was going to be the only series, T20 series you will play before the World Cup. Yes, Shuman Gill is the man in form right now and that's how fickle things can be in the world of cricket and how quick things can change. Uh, there's nobody uh, who looked better in Indian cricket than Yashashvi Jaiswal, somebody who smashed two back-to-back double hundreds in the test series. 712 runs. Mm. Exactly. But right now when I look at Yashashvi Jaiswal, again, I don't think there is an issue with the technique over there. I don't think he's been technically found out by the oppositions or anything. But the nature of his dismissal, especially the one today, tells me I think there is something going around in his head. Virat Kohli might have said that he didn't come out with a preconceived notion of predetermined shots. But Yashashvi Jaiswal did. did. What did he do exactly? The second ball, you know, he made it look like the ball had come big on him. It became big on him because he took that, those took those couple of steps forward. And again, once he did make that trigger movement, let's say, there was no way he could come out of that shot. The ball climbed on him, gets a top edge, gets caught. Maybe, maybe. So I think it's going, ahead. Going ahead, I think there is a bit of a short ball issue for Yashas Vifil. Because you look at in South Africa. Is there? But was he not playing the short ball very well in West Indies? He, but in, initially he struggled. I mean, when balls were towards his leg stump, you remember 16 balls. He 16 kind, balls, yes, I remember. He, it was kind of short and on the body. Alzari. He kind of weathered that. But there was no sustained short ball barrage. Na? A better bowling attack, say like a South Africa or Australia, can exploit that. Here, both games against MI and here, it's been a short ball. I think it's less the short ball and more the fact that... Uh, he seems to be coming out with a totally premeditated mindset. You know what made Yashasvi a really good batter when he was doing so well is that it's not that he was premeditatedly going for big shots. It's that he was picking the right balls to attack mm-hmm. and more importantly, his shot selection was very yep. good. If it was short and wide outside off, he'd cut or slash. If it was full, uses that baseball like swing mm-hmm. which he worked very hard to get. If they were short, his pull shots, hook shots were never a problem. The difference here is I think he's really taken aback by his recent barren run and is now going for premeditated shots. That ball from Topley was not a wicket taking ball. ball. It wasn't. wasn't. If he in fact had to, rather than take those few steps forward, if he had to stay in his crease, and slash it, slash it on the offside. Yes, he could have slashed it. No, what did he do? But again, it's it's, it's that little trigger movement he had. He made yeah. the ball look big and on him. Slog. And he, he got the yeah. And I think could have by slog. instinct he had already committed himself. That's why he couldn't change it. Exactly. Last exactly. And so, today I could sense again just the two balls that we saw from him. But that second ball, the ball on which he got dismissed again, tells you that he's got a monkey on his back now. He quickly wants to get off the mark. He wants those runs to come, and so that you know, of course, as a batter, the first thing you want is get some runs. And I want to be off strike, let's say. I, I don't want a duck or, or, or let's say I don't want a zero in front of my name. I just want to get to the other end and I want I some mean, runs under my belt. What a, uh, cricket is like a samurai's blade sword. I mean, if you look at the edge of it, March 21, he was on top of the world. 700 plus runs in the test series, giving India a 4 1 series with mm. player of the series. Good form in white ball cricket also. But after March 22, and now we are in April 6. Just about 15 days so before the World Cup. By the way, by the way, today is what? The 6th of April? Sixth, is it 7th already? 7th Only, only about 20 odd minutes, minutes away. Yeah, yeah, 17 minutes away. 
But since we know that in a couple of weeks time, you are looking at three weeks time from now, you're looking yeah. at the squad announcement to happen. Mm. If at all, let's say right now, right now, if the BCCI was to have, let's say a, a midnight call, let's say that, you know, we've seen four or five games from all players. Let's get together, take a decision, have a little draft in place. Who do we see then opening with Rohit right Honestly, now? Honestly, see, I have always maintained, you can check back on the previous shows also. I've always I'm saying of what we've seen in the IPL. I would still go with the Yashasvi Jaiswal. Primarily for the fact that his aggressive intent can rub off on all the others also. And I've always maintained a left hander left at hand, the right top. Hand. Left hand, right. A left hander at the top will give you far more options than a one dimensional batting that you've been saddled with for the last four World Cups. 20, uh, if you look at it, 2016, you had a Rahane, Rohit and a Virat and then you had an MS Dhoni. All right-handers. 2021, you tried an Ishan Kishan, you tried a thing, but that time the play, the team was all over the place. 2022, same problem. 2024, what is stopping you from getting a left-hander? Ishan Kishan is out of the mix. Get him a Yashasvi. Just on recency bias, is it enough to drop him for four games? After four games? Very unfair. No, I would agree. I agree with you. I would stick with Yashif Singh for sure. Because again, the kind of starts, the impetus that he was giving you, I don't think I'm going to let four games of the IPL rub that off me. However, the selectors, for the selectors, for the team management, you have to remember Gil is an all-format player. Yes. Mm. He has that advantage and he also has the benefit of having performed well for India across formats in recent years. Yes. So. If that tough call has to be made, yeah. are you going to drop a player who is a, or was and is a regular across formats or someone who's just about started to establish himself across two formats? We all know the answer to that question. While I, again, I'm in a concurrence with Shane over there, I think, again, if it were left to me, I would stick with Yashashwi Jaiswal. I like the guy's intent and everything. Nothing against Shubman. Uh, he too is equally good. But again, it gives me left hand, right hand. I and As, as I said, his intent is on his, the way that he strikes the ball. The way that he operates, everything is worth a pre of worth of appreciation. But Shuman Gill is somebody when I talk about, let's say, uh, the Indian cricket team and let's say the future project. Shuman Gill is at the center of that project. I know that. I think everyone knows that. He may have been shown the door or been on the sidelines in the T20 format, but it's not like he's been discarded. Yeah. He's just been put on the ropes, let's say. On the bench. On, on the bench. bench. He's just been benched. He can, you know, at whatever, let's say, this is a convenient time for him to be subbed on. And I think it's a little opening that players like Shubman Gill and there's only a couple of others, let's say, who... Not everyone, let's say, has to do this much to be able to get back. At times, you expect people to be doing this much. Uh, Sarfraz had to do this much for uh, three, four years to be able to get a place inside. Not everyone else. Not everyone else after coming back from an injury or if they've been away from the Indian team have been, has been told to play a warm-up match, practice match, uh, play in the Ranji and only then you're coming back. Players have been taken back into the side without having played any warm-up matches also. Let's not forget. Yep. So see, both Shubman and Yashasvi are making it into the squad. That's no problem. 15 member squad, they are both there. But who will start in the 11? Good luck on that. By the way, by the way, of all the things that we're talking about today, do you think the RCB fielding really made a difference today and it could have altered the result of the match? No. Because there was some sloppiness we saw in the field today. There were but, uh, I think that's a symptom of their malaise. The fact is, this squad on paper and really in practicality, just not good enough. It's not good It enough. is a total failure across all facets. That's how this RCB team is at this point. You don't have a bowling lineup as per to say. No, no, you do have a bowling lineup. The problem is you have four foreign pacers. When your team combination is such that you can only play one. So what the hell are the other three going to be doing then? Pair cutting ever. What are they going to do? That is it. They, I mean, they are on a holiday, a one and a half month holiday. I mean, you could have actually played all three if you hadn't traded in Cameron Green or two, then what you would have done is you would have played two and had two bench options. Yes. It would have still made a modicum of sense, but I cannot for the life of me make any sense of going and buying three uh, Pacers in the same window. In the same window. Yeah. And by the way, it, it still wouldn't have made sense. You know why? Because last year, one of your Pacers, more often than not, was David Willey, yeah. who's not just a Pacer, but a handy lower order back. Yeah. Of all the other Pacers, you have Alzari, Reece Stopley, Lockheed, Ferguson, uh, and, Tom and Tom Curran. The only one who can really bat is Tom Curran. 
and even he's a bowler who bats not an all rounder and also tom curran is ram bharose when it comes to IPL. death overs in ipl yeah, especially especially so again what was your plan where was the planning you bought four pacers then you bought cam green yeah. and you are compelled to pay play him because you're paying him 16.5 crores 17.5 crores whatever it is 17.5 crores see you can bench 10 crore alzari alzari oh god i know that is the thing so RCB at this time are totally all over the you place. You tell me something. Could they not have kept out one of those spacers hmm. and maybe just maybe brought in one in the on the cheap? There is have, yeah, there is history. Have, yeah. There is history, right? Or precedents when it comes to players or yeah. teams releasing <laughs> players and getting them back on the cheap. Jerry Vanatkat will tell you. Rajasthan exactly. Royals did it. Yeah. I don't know how many times. Two times. Well, huh. then see. I don't know why they let go for one Hindu, honestly. Ah, uh, if if you go by that, I don't know why they let go of Vijay Chahal either. Yeah, they let go of uh, Josh Hazel, but we knew that Hazel was not injured. Yeah. yeah, but Hasanga and Chahal, you've left out two bowlers who have offered a sense of decency in the RCB bowling lineup. You let them go. That's what. If we criticize Delhi Daredevils for not picking Virat Kohli and going in with the Shalab Shivas, no, no, Pradeep, no, Pradeep, Pradeep Sangwan. Pradeep Sangwan in place of Virat Kohli, then this is also right up there, my friends. This is as consistent with them. Yeah. Every year you look at the bowling and you're like, eh, it's kind of halka. Every <laughs> we see the the thing is again, it's a little different though. Because for Delhi, the batting you had the likes of a Seva, you had the likes of a Gambi, mm. so Excuse the me. batting was covered. The, there was only a slot, let's say, for a bowler that Delhi were on the lookout for. Here, RCB jolly well knowing that they don't have a good bowling attack, the bowler slot is there. Knowing very well that the slot is there to be filled, you let go of somebody who adds a bit of mystery. Is very good with the bat as well. Was he not the <coughs> highest run scorer and the wicket taker in the Lanka Premier League? Yeah, he was. He hit the most sixes. Although he, he should be the match player of the series. Although he should be taking that with a pinch of salt, but that's to tell you a bit about the skill set of the he man. Was, he was the captain of the team that won the damn tournament. Yeah. He he achieved the entire set in the Lanka Premier. Yeah. <laughs> so he captain of the winning team. So that means. You not only the winning captain, most winning captain, trophy you've lifted, most runs, most wickets, most, most sixes. sixes. What more do you need? That's like lifting the World Cup, getting the golden glove, the golden boot, and the golden the ball, tournament, the golden ball, everything. You see, when Shane was <laughs> the world, see, he's still choking on that because RCB. I'll go get some water. <laughs> because RCB's decision making has been like that, woeful. It makes your throat lump up by saying, "Man, what are you doing?" What are you doing at this point in time? And another blunder today, I think, uh, wasn't the right call uh, to be giving Himanshu the ball. Himanshu who? Just like Sunny Gupta who? who Sunny he? Gupta in Delhi Daredevils giving you the opening over in a qualifier. Who is Himanshu Mish- Mishra? And by the way, Himanshu was it Mishra? Sharma. 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 Himanshu Sharma was brought in as the impact sub. And again, really, what impact did he have? What else? impact? And okay, I expected a Saurabh Chauhan to deliver something, but two debutants, Saurabh Chauhan and Himanshu Sharma, who? Saurabh Chauhan didn't do anything. Okay, fine, chalo, I'll give you that. This thing, that one six. Ha. Big, big deal. Yeah. Two overs, twenty nine, and two overs for thirty four. Mayank Dagar, you are spin bowling is non existent. They're absolutely not absolute actually their best spinner they didn't bowl like glen maxwell. maxwell but i think maxwell was hobbling he was kind of play which so might was, not be a bad thing if so was jazz. so was virat kohli by the way virat kohli wasn't on the field in the last couple of overs might be just cramps yeah right very well nah, because he played 20 overs okay so let's take some swal at this point but yes a special shout out for gjk yeah his man sanju samson Hmm. Sanju Samson played a, a very, match winning 69 good knock yes a yes. match winning 69 absolutely right absolutely. on top right on top all lots okay, of questions okay okay i love conflays <laughs> for the good one he started <laughs> off sir just glad that ashwin wasn't sent ah. down <laughs> we were discussing upstairs yeah, by the way yeah. he could have he could have given those uh, couple of blows that he has been doing by the way what wrong did shimron hetmeyer do here <laughs> yeah. if his, if ashwin is coming over hetmeyer in this particular season, i'm sorry then see ravi chandran ashwin pack his bags and go home ravi chandran ashwin's floater experiment isn't backfiring right now and which is why rr will continue to do it the times that they feel is right for them to do it yeah it is. And also, I will say this that with Ashwin, their batting has actually worked. A 
and B, they had a Shubham Dubey. Mm. So their batting was actually pretty deep. They were not yes. worried. Were not Mind worried. you, they lost their second wicket in the 15th over, at which point the game was done and dusted. Yeah. It didn't matter. Exactly. Dhanush says, what is the difference between Lara for the West Indies and Virat for RCV? Okay, see. Hmm. Interesting then, question. But okay, there is a difference. See, Vira, Virat just has himself in the batting. 7,500 runs, even the first individual. Who's the next best? 832, Rahul Dravid. 15 years ago. Indian batter. Indian batter. Indian batter, Indian. yeah. Chris Gale, A.B. De Villiers are fine. But then even if you compare both of them, I'm sorry. There's yeah, a gulf. There's a gulf. And Lara, maybe in a transition period, he just couldn't get the best. It's out. also not transition period. People tend to forget this. But the time when Lara took over West Indies cricket, their route to self-destruction had already begun. begun. Let's let's be honest. Lara we didn't have the personnel, nice. but Virat cannot perhaps say the same. Exactly. But it doesn't reflect in the statement. I wasn't trying to be over aggressive. Yes, don't, don't go by everything he says. The yeah. fact of the matter is, look, the one difference with franchise cricket and international cricket is in franchise cricket, you can pick and choose and construct yeah. your squad. With international sport, whether it be cricket or whatever, you have to make do with what it is you're getting. Especially a country as complex, or rather we should say... Don't even call them a country. country. A country. Exactly. Entity. An entity as complex as the West Indies to understand. Exactly. Yeah. The Caribbean is not... It, there's a lot of uh, you know internal geopolitics and stuff yeah. like that, that takes place over there. It's not always easy picking the best lineup. So exactly. at that point when Lara was there, that was when West Indies, the decline had started to set in. Yeah. Let's be very honest. Absolutely. Absolutely. So in that sense, I mean, it doesn't really reflect well on... Uh, you know, Kohli as a franchise leader, yeah. that as a franchise leader of not just Kohli, even RCB, you have the option to pick and choose, to plan and uh, exactly. pick who you want to sign, who you want to buy. And if you're still unable to do it, then sorry, then that reflects not so much on the players, not like they're blameless, but more on the uh, team management that they've not been able to build that. Exactly. Hari Haran Vishwanathan from the USA says that Virat took 10 balls to so, score 13 yes. runs. From 87 to 100, as always, the typical slowdown. Something slowdown. people hate talking about. Yep. Off topic, but it's worrying. Mr. Shaker, GT and the saying. But it's worrying that relatively unknown gems come into limelight versus GT. In 2022, Umran 5 wicket haul, <laughs> Rinku 5 sixes, and PBK Shashank Ashoko. Yeah, I mean. That's an interesting uh, parallel, actually, yeah. Shaker. Thanks for that. But, uh, yeah, you would not call Rinku an unknown. He was a good. Uh, no, he was a domestic. Yeah, player. and not just that. Uh, Rinku, and last year, he had already made himself a known. Exactly. Player. Rinku was, uh, became known, actually, thanks to his knock against LSG. LSG. Yeah. LSG. Yeah. It took uh, Evan Lewis. That Evan Lewis. Don't case. remind Shane of that. Yeah, yeah. They, they, you know what really hurts even more? They released Evan Lewis after that season. I know. <laughs> so his biggest contribution was taking that catch. catch. Or Rinku. Huh? <laughs> Pranit Datta. RCB deserve this. They drop Vishak after he bowls well for them. Drop Lomroar after zero hits with the bat. Big names. KP playing. How do you build a team? Who's KP? Big names. Keep playing. Oh, keep playing. Okay. Keep play oh. Oh, the character constraint, character which we now know oh, of. He's right, because again, right, yeah. if I was, when I was looking at Lomonor on the bench, I'm like, listen, you're batting first. Mm. Why can't you play yeah. Lomonor in place of another bowler and just bring in that bowler? You can strengthen your batting. And but it, no. Face palm emoji. That's uh, it, face palm. Mm. Uh, Pranit Gatta, Butler, Samson, Short Kohli, how to play T20 today? Comment of the night. Comment of the night, but I've got one more comment of the night. Why we saying? Insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. Selection of Virat Kohli in T20 Indian team is insanity personified. I would add Rohit as well. I am very surprised that there are people who, from, think, who think alike on the same lines. I am very surprised. I, about it. And but the, the comment of the day comes from Gali Talk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. RCB think tank. No thinking, no tank. No thinking and no tanking. Of course. You are absolutely right. Somic Arayas. Just sending some love. Lot of we love appreciate that. Chat. Yep. Manchester Rising from the USA says, Obsession with superstars in the Indian cricket team sickens me. Number one philosophy of team sport is name on the front is more important than the one on the back. We never learn. Oh my God, Manchester Rising. Is this Manchester Rising? rising? I mean, Music to the ears. My goodness. I mean, this is really, really awesome. I mean, Suryan Sharma, hope you understand why I turned RCB Minos yesterday. Ah. Of course, every other team has a balance, so I turned DC as big boys. Oh, okay. He turned uh, DC as the big boys and RCB were the Minos. 
I do agree with the RSV boy, but DC big boys. Even oh. I don't say that. Exactly. At least at this season, you I can definitely not say that. No, no, you season. can't. You can't call a team that haven't won a title big boys. That's true. This guy was as cheerful as uh, I mean, you may say like a dull film when DC beat CSK. Trash CSK. Yeah. It was uh, again an unlikely result. Mm. And as for Suryaj saying surprise, you think PBK has to be bought on isn't Suryaj? There's a reason we did it is oh, because no. we still couldn't pick a settled lineup. And I know that that win against GT with the Nashatosh shining with a and, uh, Shashank. Shashank Singh. The but I'll tell you, but we know that and let's accept it. Pant played a good knock the other day against KKR. Oh, yeah. Sanju Samson's knock today. A tad better than punts, but let's be honest about it. There's only one of them going to the USA and the Caribbean, and Sanju Samson will at least have to do three, four more such knocks than Rishabh Pant because Rishabh Pant will, or like we said, some people have to do this much, some this much. In fact, it's interesting you mentioned that because it segues Pranit perfectly Dutta. to Pranit Dutta's other superstar. He says the people were too excited about punts knocks, one of which came when his team lost. Samson's knocks have been more impactful. The front runner for second wicket keeper spot. You know what, Pradeep? I would agree with you because the same logic that I give for a Yashasvi or which I will give for a Jitesh, I will give for a Sanju also. He's barely gotten any chance and is being forced to play out of position. And so, are you going to drop him just like that? Just no. Like that. And also, and I'm sorry that Rishabh Pant hype train needs to die down. I know. His T20i career is underwhelming to put it politely. And I will. I have always said no that with Rishabh Pant there is the EQ factor, emotional quotient factor. See, he has to perform much better. Otherwise, on current form, Sanju is going it. But again, we have seen in a T20 World Cup year, Sanju plays ODIs. In an ODI World Cup year, Sanju plays T20. That's his kismat at this point in time. Uh, Venkata Nanduri saying, VK 38 of 35 balls, 1 lyrics 72 balls, YJ 0 gave win. I didn't understand. I didn't understand point. a bit it's of... It's like a bouncer for me. Oh yeah. Like oh, a turret at 100 of miles per hour. Uh, uh, go, 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 go. Yeah. Divyan, Divyan says, uh, Virat Kohli's criticism today is fair, fair. but more onus and question should be on other players. What are they even doing? Plus, Rohit is playing with a good strike rate. Plus, need him for his captaincy. Divyan, see, playing with a good strike rate, agree. But that's a very recent phenomena. Also, need him for his captaincy. I think Pandya was doing fine as a captain. But now you've muddied those waters again. Yeah. Not only, let's not even talk about, uh, go up still slightly, I haven't finished that. Uh, not even talking about the muddied waters that have taken place at MI. <coughs> and also, I agree with you when you're saying that the question should be on other players. Because you're right. Today, I think if Kohli had two, three other players give you quick fire 30s, then they had a winning total. Yes. The problem was no one else stepped Faf, up. Faf had to do what Sanju did today. Yes. Mm. After the start that he got, he had to convert that into a 50 60. Yes. Or what, like San 30, 35 balls. what Sanju did today. Yep. See, that is the thing. But that has been the case with RCB's batting for a very long time. But that time, the quality of Gale and De Villiers shone through. Mm. Here, a Maxwell isn't doing a De Villiers. A uh, far for a green isn't doing a game. Yeah, correct. Only Kohli is doing Kohli things. That's the thing. Karthik K KJU from the US is telling us RCB let Vanindu go because he won championship in LPL. He's been sarcastic. I know. Hmm. That's why KJU <laughs> is hmm, with us, right? Yep. When it comes to four overseas, there should be always be two bowlers and icing on cake is if there is a batter who can bowl. Hmm. Shane Siddharth, Harshit. Hand on heart. Don't you think Russell is better bowler ah, than no, no, no. Reece? I don't think Russell is a better bowler than Reece. I'm sure. I know for a fact <laughs> I will bet my house, bank balance, everything you ask me and be proven right that Russell is a better bowler than Green. That's not a comparison. I mean, I, if you look at IPL, yeah, I mean, Russell is my, my See, again, you. I hope he's just referring to T20 cricket and he's not talking, let's say, red ball because uh, we know Russell it's red only ball. On T20 cricket. Exactly. Russell the other day. Ex exactly. And the other day, his cutters, again, this is his format. He is meant for this format and he's completely oh, acing it. But I'm telling you, this uh, 2024 IPL is proving to be the second coming of Andre Russell, the bowler. And, and Sunil Narayan, the batter. <laughs> I know, but see, he got it against uh, RCB and DC, two teams. You're not supposed I'll check it against a better bowling. No, that's team. fair. My point is, but those are impactful knocks. Yeah, 150 are. odd runs, which he's gotten, you had a striker of over 200. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it comes against the winners. For the yeah. big games, you have other players. Yep, that's indeed. the thing. And also, you're talking about Russell, the bowler. Uh, that was, uh, what is the name of our commenter, was it? 
Shubham. Shubham. Shubham, there have been seasons. I think a season or two. I don't remember which ones. But I know for a fact there have been seasons where Andre Russell has ended the year as being KKR's highest wicket taker. Yes. So yeah. it's not even a good comparison. No, no, I 2021, think I think he's at... Of, uh, no, 2021 or 22. No, it was 2017, two. 18 types where he got... No, you remember he bowled two overs, got five wickets. Oh, that was 2022. Uh, he got like four for six or something like that. Right? The man has a maverick strike rate, I think, of about 171. No, I think it's more. 192, if I'm not mistaken. He's, he's a beast. Prior to the start of this season, I remember it was 171. Again, I'm not when sure. We had to debate but, uh, who was the greatest yeah, yeah, that overseas. 11. Yes. Over, no, greatest overseas hmm? player in IPL history. It was a close contest between Pollard and him. Pollard, Russell, Malinga. No, Pollard. the other day, Siddharth, when we were making the all time 11. Most informed international player. Remember yeah. we were having that discussion also. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I said Russell because again. How do you not go by him? And and by the way, his bowling, the funny part is he's a better Shardul. Because in T20s, in leading up to the IPL, he had taken 25 wickets, which is insane. Whichever way you look at it, you know what his economy was? 10. <laughs> but surprisingly, in the IPL, like and again, I'll paraphrase this line because I read it somewhere. Uh, they said that in the RCB match for, for KKR, you had uh, Sunil Narayan do the Andre Russell role. Because he came and hit Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I read that too. And Andre Russell do the Sunil Narayan role. <laughs> he got two wickets at a very economical 7.20 economy. Yeah. Right? See, RCB are never able to, have been never able to crack the Sunil Narayan code. Whether it be as a bowler or a batter. Well, never. Remember 2021. Delhi eh? might say, Delhi might say, hold my beer. <laughs> 2021, I'll never forget that one match where he got everyone bold. Yeah. Well, not Kohli bold. Yeah. Kevin Williams bold. Correct. Everyone and with the same ball. Yeah. Bowling it straight, bowling it straight. They're playing it like this through the gate. Through the gate. Through the gate. And then as if to not make it better, Varun Chakravarti is like, I'll do the same thing. Yeah. And then subsequent seasons he's doing that. Yeah. This in. This, this in. in. And then ah. Suyash came in. Come out of the super chat here, yes. <laughs> Suyash did the same last year. <laughs> oh man. Go looking up. Deepak Yadav. Guys, discuss about RCB bowling lineup versus RR bowling lineup. What have we been doing for all this while then? Ah. Never compare two performances based on pitch rather than bowling standard and support of other end. But where are we comparing? Deepak Yadav, I mean, I, the last point I totally disagree with that because for the simple reason, there are two major talking points. One is a Virat Kohli situation, one is a Yashasvi Jaiswal situation. And in the mid innings, also we said this page and looking at the RR bowling line or RCB bowling line RCB don't have a spin combination. They didn't have a chance in hell of defending yeah. this total because it wasn't good enough. Yeah. And they don't have a bowling bowling lineup yeah. exactly. And we discussed how Nandre Burger came up in the. There's only a few teams. You know, you would have said the same thing for an SRH as well. Yeah. They don't no matter. So that's also another team for RCB as well. This was said that on most days they will have to be scoring 200, 220 runs because this is a bowling attack with limited amount of experience. Yeah. You look at SRH and you have to say exactly the same thing. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Any other questions? GGK says, so Agarkar was brought in to change the T20 approach and now he does the reverse. I wouldn't say reverse, but what I would say is reverted to type. Uh, see, it'll be, we know that this might happen, but I think a stamp of confirmation will come by April 110. It's coming. I don't think there's any yeah. doubt about it. Ashish, Ashish Dhar, Virat, just by scoring runs is ensuring nobody questions the selection in T20s. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. Yeah. Why DK not promoted over Green? Why not today? For 5 balls, he could do what a Dhoni does. 12 run of 5 balls or whatever in that sense. Maybe 183 could have been 203. Locky could have been impact sub. Not in deep tweet, Locky. I mean, to be fair with Locky, you couldn't have had him as an impact sub today for a very simple reason. You but you already right. had 4 foreigners. But I agree, I mean, they need to be looking at other options. You need to do something. Yeah. I would, I don't know, previously criticized KKR teams for sometimes, uh, you know, making a few chop and change decisions. Yeah. But that was because more often than not, they'd start with what looked like their best 11, then change things around. Yeah, right. The problem with this RCB team is you can see that by no stretch of the imagination is this their best 11. So, boss, you need to change something. Uh, the first thing I will do, I'm going to start a campaign on social media. Hashtag justice for Will Jacks. Right. What wrong has that man done? Right. Prakash Jass, joint slower century in IPL history. We need to highlight how can any batter defend two knee-high full tosses in 19th over just because he was nearing a century. So Correct, Prakash. Why did you not criticize mid-innings? We did. We criticized. We touched upon it. We and mid the intent. Prakash, the reason being, again, have we not spent the last one hour addressing everything that happened mm -hmm. in this match? Because again, 
restrictions there's a match that we need to catch up on so as you guys which is why we touched upon it and we've got this post match show whereas we usually do and always do we spend about an hour or so discussing everything that's what talking okay. and that's exactly what we've and done because ja i have not said this now i have said this consistently while batting first for virat kohli it's a problem manoj ramasamy says that why are we not able to do something like we did in selection process for 2007 probably winning was a priority then appeasing fan base is a priority now but not two other things worth talking about winning wasn't really a priority then because at that point you, you played as if you had nothing to lose you uh, and also the other key factor that people tend to forget the senior players opted out opted out if they didn't want to opt out do you think they would not have been selected See, not a chance in hell that was an experiment for global cricket yeah not just india that was an experiment so you did and nobody knew back then that t20 cricket would become such a big thing hmm. because but it worked because t20 world cup gave you what 32 years of icc world cup finals hadn't given you and india but, pakistan finals and an icc trophy yes. after years also 24 years later yeah a yeah. solo we're not counting that uh, sham champions trophy champions yeah. trophy <laughs> that was, that was a shared thing yeah, yeah. i am not that was a sham ball sham anyway. anyway the point is also that you know uh, 2007 was an experimental year not just for the indian team but for the world no one knew how the format would play out yeah. no one would have predicted and if anyone sitting at that time would have predicted that t20 cricket would be the juggernaut it is today yeah. the line no one saw it everyone thought oh it's okay just one of those formats but you know yeah. oh odi is in test how what? wrong were we we was thank miss bahul hak had he taken that catch the ipl would not have <laughs> we would have lost by five runs this t20 thing is nonsense in that But, sense oh man uh satish bay says forget t20 world cup oz england west indies will win the world cup i i would say that they're right up there with some of the favorites yeah. i mean i'm really worried about the west indies they might be the first home team to win a t20 world cup no host nations ever won so mm-hmm. Karthik K also with an apology to you. <laughs> I know apologies from me. I know no one deserves to be called KJU. I know. Good on you, Karthik. But good on you. Man, but yeah. it's all it's all it's fun. All in the game. Yeah, my friend. It's all but, fun. Yeah, games. this banter is really fun. Thank so, God you do it. So. So anyway, speaking of banter, mm. this match is done with RCB. It's RCB again. Oh my God! Don't say that. It is. Yeah, they may have lost, lost. But let's not sound like trolls sun no 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 i mean it is I mean, yes that that's fine they lost they lost we we badly yeah four games we called it yeah. we've analyzed it and yeah finally the jinx is broken oh yes, oh, yes. Oh, oh. Uh, the, all the green of for it yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. the jinx all is broken all of us called the result yeah. and, and so siddharth was in reverse jinxing this whole while no, that wasn't <laughs> that mean. also is something that we so, know now so tomorrow is the double header between the chakala derby third double header of this year yeah it is Mumbai Indians, the battle Shit, of the man. table bottom teams. MI versus DC. I no, thought you'd say that. Yep, indeed. But DC, we expected MI, kind of expected mm. for the slow starts that they get. And it is Lucknow Super Giants versus the Gujarat Titans at seven thirty. Yep. So we'll be back tomorrow for the double headers, and that's it. We'll call it a night from me, Harshit, and Shane. It's bye bye. We'll be back tomorrow, and so don't forget to tap that bell icon when we go live. Show some love, folks. Good night, Shubhratri, Shabak, Hair, Nandri, Manakam. Don't trouble your mother and eat your vegetables. Bye.